Creating text notes. We can use the text tools to create some tech note, text, text notes, whether it's a detail or if we're just conveying information about the building elements. Uh, so if we want to add text notes to the building model, we can use the text tool. To do this, we're going to go up to the Annotate tab. And in the Annotate tab, we're going to go to the Text panel. Then we're going to click on Text. In the text panel, first thing we want to take a look at is if we want a leader. So right now, no leader is checked by default. We can also add a one segment to the leader. So we just point to where we want to go and point where the end of the leader line goes. We can also go with a two segment uh, leader. So we point to where it wants to go. We point where the shoulder starts and where the shoulder ends. And typically that shoulder is between an eighth and a quarter inch long. We can also go to the curved, uh, uh, curved leader line. This puts an artistic flair to it where it picks it and it puts an arc in between there. We can also then choose on how we want the note attached to the leader. And uh, if we're, the leader is pointing towards our left, it will attach at the top left, or you can go to the middle left or the bottom left. If the leader's pointed to the right, it can go to the top right, or it can go to the middle right, or bottom right. You'll notice that they're highlighted in blue. Those are the default drafting standards. Uh, these are the given drafting standards in industry. Uh, and also we have that it's a front lines from the left, so the text writes from the left to the right, or it goes center, it goes evenly from the left and right, or we can line it up on the right margin and line it up. So I'll pick a two segment leader and I'll pick where I want it to go. I'll drag it up and place where I want the shoulder to start. I'll move it over and I'll place the length of the shoulder. Then I can type in and say example text. Uh, we want to use capital letters by the way. Uh, example text and any drafting we do. Now to finish the command we can pick outside of the box uh, so just pick anywhere outside and now we have the text or I can hit escape twice here and so I got some sample text in here uh, and I'll do that again I'm gonna go up to annotate I'll go to text I'm gonna choose a curved line this time I'll pick and I'll pick and I'll say example text and now I'll click outside of the area. I'll hit escape twice. And now I got a curved um, angled, uh, curved text note. And again, I'll do one more. I'll go up to text. I'm going to choose no leader at all. I'll just pick a spot. I'll say example text. And I'll pick anywhere outside there. And I got just plain text now. Or I'll pick one segment of a leader and I'll pick where it starts and where it finishes and I'll say example text. Now we try to line them up the best we can and it'll build a tracking line so if we're building them all it's always good to build in a line. We don't want this by the way so we generally want them to be in a line and so when we create them it's nice if we can put them down line that way the viewer can read easily from top to bottom type thing or left to right is what we're looking for